Hey there, Leo! Welcome to your May 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower page. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, Leos, we will look at three different things here slightly. We will look at the overall energy as it presents itself to you in the month of May. Then we will look at your emotional core, see if there's some healing that needs to happen, or maybe there's love coming in, that kind of stuff. And then we will look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of May 2022. And opportunities, for the most part, are about what sustains you financially. Right? So, just need a bit of a sip, um, and then we have a look at you. Here we go then. Leos, let's have a look at your overall energy in the months 2022. Remember, this is a general reading. It may not resonate with all of you, but since you have found the channel, I always sort of have the feeling that the universe makes sure that the people who need to hear certain things find the messages, if that makes sense. So, and actually it's all good, Leos. You have the hummingbird and the falcon. So, the hummingbird is one of those birds no matter how crooked the tree, and the tree, the tree, 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 <laughs> represents your life, the hummingbird says, doesn't matter, I can work it. So the first message for you in your May video for 20, May 2022 is if you are confident, right, in your abilities and just know that no matter how often you had your ass kicked, um, you will always recover and you have always recovered. That makes a big difference to how things actually unfold for you. And you have the parakeet falcon, and the falcon is saying, you know what, I see my food a mile away. So you will also, while you're going through things, um, figure out very, very easily um, if things or situations that you're in are actually for you. So pay attention, and whatever you need to change... Right? The universe is saying to you is, whatever change comes to you, right? change is the only constant, constant in the universe, right? in May, you're going to be bloody awesome about it. Right? As long as you're confident, it changes a lot because attitude has so much to do with whether or not you will sort of be successful in things and if you actually can overcome or, or su survive triggering issues, if that makes sense. Right? So remember this, you're bloody awesome, you better, you better believe it, right? That was Leo, the over energy. Now we're looking at your emotional core. Let's have a look what needs to happen here, uh, healing or love-wise. With regards to healing, you have the bald eagle and the kid fox. In anything to do with relationships, this is just remember, it's a general reading, may not resonate with all of you. You have the bald eagle, and while the bald, the bald eagle sees everything, which means you see what you want, you sort of know what you want, he sometimes sits there for a little bit too long, right? And so, sounds sounds what I'm getting sounds a bit strange, in that the message that I'm getting is, you know, try not to have a type, right? Just go with how you really truly feel about someone, rather than thinking like, ooh, you know, I like that type, I like that type, right? So. Yes, references are a real thing. All they're saying to you this month in May, you know, maybe you pay too much attention to a certain characteristic of a potential love interest. Instead of saying, you know what, the universe will send me someone who's bloody awesome, and I believe it. The other thing here, with regards to, and this is what I'm getting here strongly, so this is not this part is not for people who are in a relationship. This is for people who are want, who want to go into one. <laughs> because you have the kid fox. So this month in May 2022, for the sign of Leo, for those of you who are on the cusp of engaging, remember that when you go into the relationship, because you probably, well at least according to the energy here, haven't fully healed from older relationships, if that makes sense, right? Um, you may even feel a tad boxed in, even when in the beginning everything is bloody awesome, <laughs> right? So allow yourself to be a bit vulnerable, but don't invite in doubt, because doubt closes doors. Don't make it part of your journey, okay? That was your emotional core. Let's have a look at 
your financial fi financials finances <laughs> and opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of May 2022. This is for Leo. You have the Panther, Panther, TH. It's really difficult for me to pronounce. Panther and the Grey Squirrel. What the guides are saying is, in May 2022, if you are selling yourself short, nothing can come to you. Okay, you have the Panther. The Panther by default is sort of a leopard, right? So you have unique dots and then you hide inside the Panther so you can't even be seen. Um, that's not going to work. So while they're not asking you to be super loud because the Panther is also um, a symbol for, okay, step back a little here. Yeah? <laughs> but um, when it comes to opportunities, um, you can't just sit there and hope they come to you if that makes sense, right? So that's really, really important to not do that. The other interesting thing here is that you have the gray squirrel. And the squirrel, again, it's symbolism, um, collects so many nuts, and then as he brings them up the tree, he loses half of them. So maybe it is time not to have 25,000 ideas about what you could be doing and focus on one or two ideas and make them bloody happen. Okay? Wow, that was fast. Leos, that's all I got. See you all next month.